Hi everyone, welcome back. God has the final say in everything. He is the final authority. We need to understand that. That's why Paul writes in Romans chapter 13, where he says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that are ordained are of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. You see, those people around you that are put in authority have been placed there by God. You'll never see Jesus or the Apostle Paul speaking against those in authority, remembering now that it was the Romans that were oppressing the people of Israel, persecuting them. And yet neither Jesus nor the Apostle Paul or even Peter spoke against the Roman power. In fact, on the contrary, Jesus made a plan, plain, rendered to Caesar what is Caesar's, rendered to God what is God's. Peter says in 1 Peter 2, Submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake whether it be to the king as supreme or to governors, as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. The key in all of this authority, the key for us to note is our heart of submission. A heart of submission. Now, submission is different to obedience. You can have a submissive heart, hear me well, you can have a submissive heart and yet be disobedient. If somebody is asking you to do something that is immoral, illegal, against your own conviction, you can, with a pure heart, in submission to God, say, I can't do this. Without animosity, without rebellion, without your own attitudes getting involved, but simply in submission to God, a pure heart, and you can say, I can't do this. So we mustn't confuse the issue of submission and obedience, whether it be in a marriage of a wife to a husband, whether it be in a family of children to parents, if the children are God-fearing and the parents are God-less, the children can submit and have pure hearts and honor their parents, but cannot walk in obedience to them because they would be in disobedience to God. God has the final say. God is the last one when it comes to authority. And that's where our submission and obedience falls into place. May the Lord help us and give us understanding. God bless you.